Hey guys, it is Velvet. Welcome back to more Castlevania Harmony of Dissonance. And the last one, uh, we beat the Cyclops and uh, got the Platinum Tip, for starters. As well as the Rib of Vlad, but for now, we're gonna continue exploring this large blue area here. Uh, I'm gonna have to speed through it, because I'm in Castle A right now, but there are two areas in there that I would like to check out on Castle A regardless. But once we're through it, then we'll uh, retrace our steps in Castle B and see what we can get there. Ah, this music. I remember liking this music a lot. Time to uh, drown it out with sliding and getting hit by flea men. Thank you very much. Uh, very cool. Just because it's been so long, there was... I do recall something... Like, at the top of stairs or something that I can't get to? Where was that? Was this here or was this that somewhere else? It might have been somewhere else. But it's been so long, so I just want to, like, make sure I'm not missing something, you know? Ah, yep, here it is. A heart max up. Yep. I figured there was something I was missing. And then over here, I think it's fine, right? No, it's not. We get Vlad's ring. Which, uh, what does Vlad's... Vlad's? Vlad's ring does it. Increase his luck. Okay, I'll take that. I'm glad I double checked up here, because I had a nagging feeling that there wasn't something. There was something I was missing over here. I just wasn't sure, right? That wasn't one of the two places I needed to check because that th those places were marked off on the map. I can't wait until there is something else that I'm missing. That's like in a place I've explored on the map but I just don't think to go back to it because it's in an explored place, you know? Okay, what is up here? Ah, it was just a dash under thing. We get the fire book, as well as summer clothes <laughs> to match well with our fire book, I guess. That's probably not very useful because it's like, <laughs> yeah, it, it raises our intelligence a little bit, but like, it's not. it's not terribly useful. I imagine I could have gotten the fire book a lot earlier. That's pretty cool. Oh, does it like, okay, it spins out when I shoot it, okay. I like wind right now, but that's pretty cool. All right, well, let's, let's keep it equipped for now so I can test what it is with other sub weapons. Okay, just a pillar of flame with the Bible. I keep calling it the Bible, even though it's probably, like, officially called the Holy Book or something. Because I, I, I feel like just including the Bible in a video game like this probably wouldn't be incredibly appreciated. Don't you dare. <laughs> if I lost the, the cross again to just watching an animation like this play out, I would have been not very happy. Nothing up there. That that looks like something I could have dashed into. Okay, so I still need to see what this is for the Kniffy and the Ororororo, I think. Oh, hey! Um, I remember why I didn't explore this room, because uh, I didn't realize I could push the blocks. Because in Circle of the Moon, pushing blocks was a relic. But now I have double jump, so it does not matter. And I have this as well, so it really does not matter. Um, what early game item am I missing here? <laughs> Probably something very stupid. The ice book and the heart max up. So I could have had, I could have had spells much earlier, huh? Interesting. Oh! 
Okay. I'm about it. I, I think the future books are simply more useful. Probably because you get them later. But I'm about it. All right, well, we're done here. Let's rush over to the portal and see what's going on in this area in Castle B. And we'll experiment with whatever sub-weapons we happen to pick up along the way, if any. Because even if I fully intend to stick with the cross, I'm still curious as to what the rest do, right? One dollar. kind of embarrassing knowing that I missed such a useful tool so early because I was conditioned by the previous game to not even try. Like, that's fully my fault, right? Like, I'm not going to blame Circle of the Moon for me doing that. Like, I totally should have at least tried. But it's still funny. <laughs> All right, what do we, what do we got here? Please just corporeal yourself, thank you. Thank you. Because you're not terribly strong, are you? It's just that you are uh, invulnerable to damage at times, which makes you a, a bit of a pain. Okay, what's going on? The devil? Here, help me out with this, with this ice cross. You better give me a lot of experience for how much hits you're taking. Not terribly hard to avoid, though, so I'm not... One damage, but curse. Okay, if you're only dealing one damage to me, then I am not concerned. Curse is fine. Curse will wear out. Uh, I'm gonna be real with you, Chief. Oh, maybe if I switch to, like, Grand Cross, this'll be a lot more worth it. Let's see, how much, how much experience do I have right now? Uh, 124,531. 124,532. One experience point? Okay, the devil is worthless to kill. Understood. <laughs> what the hell? That took so many hits, and he just gives me nothing, huh? Okay. Well, let's see what the Ice Dagger does. Cool. What about the... Did I see the Fire Dagger? I don't think so. Interesting. Still nothing I would like prefer having, but it, it was interesting for sure. Get juggled, nerd. And he drops an axe for me. Which I actually cannot use because I have Grand Cross. Or not Grand Cross, my orbiter's activated. So, uh... Probably gonna be another Spriggan in here, yeah? Yeah. We'll we'll figure out what that does later. Hey, life max up. The trip was worth it. I 
I'm not coming back to figure out what it is. Uh, and I guess I should put my wind spell book back on so I could have my orbiters again. Because <laughs> they're very, they're incredibly useful. I'm not going to spend the time killing this guy. I've already killed him once. He drops uh, equipables for me. That's fine. Hey, victory armor. Oh, you actually do damage to me. Interesting. Hey, buddy. <laughs> I'm just gonna... <laughs> Silk curtain. I take it that's for my room. I wonder how close I am to having all of the things for... I'm missing three things. Okay, after I pick up three more things, then I, I feel like I just gotta drop everything and go and decorate that room. Get it as full as possible, right? Spectre. These are all enemies I've seen before, so I'm not terribly worried. Master Lizard, I remember doing a lot of damage, but... I still, yeah, I still guess I want to be careful so I don't just take a lot of damage out of nowhere, right? Like that. It wasn't a lot of damage, but 28 times 2 is still uh, not preferable unless we get, like, a life max over here. <laughs> I'm psychic. <laughs> This is just the area of life max, huh? Next boss I face, I'm probably gonna switch back to Grand Cross with the, the Lightning Tome, though, because that one does a lot of damage. The Orbiters are nice, and are good for traversal like this, because it, like, takes out... It takes out trash mobs. So it's just, like, passive experience and protection. Uh, let's go and fill in the map down here before, but first, before I proceed, just to make sure I got everything. So yeah, it's good passive protection and experience, right? So it's good to have activated for traversal, but for boss fights, I think Grand Cross is so much more useful, because it does so much goddamn damage. And it does offer me temporary invulnerability, so long as I don't land on the boss when it's done. And even then, as long as the boss doesn't kill me in one shot and make it count, that's also not as much of an issue as it seems. Alright, what's under here? Whoa, slow down, but we got the, the Twilight Cloak. What, what do the Twilight Cloak do? It's probably just creates an air of darkness. It increases my defense a lot uh, over the bracelets, but not so much over anything else. Ah. I like that aesthetically. So I'll keep that on aesthetically until we need the crush boots. <laughs> Flea man armor is so obnoxious. Ah, Arabaki. I remember you from earlier in the game and also from Persona. <laughs> because I, what the hell is that? Pike Master. Uh-huh. Uh, I don't want to be another corpse on your pike if I can truly help it. Good. And I think that fills everything in from this side. Yeah, so do I have to deal with the Pike Master again? Yep. Oh, that that broke through my defenses. Okay. Um interesting. Let's just take one of those. There we go. 
I got cocky, I guess. I was hoping I could kill him before he dealt too much damage to me. But that was that was a fool's choice. Oh, I was like, I, I was about to say, I like how this counts as a new area, even though it's only two blocks. But it's only two blocks because it is the connecting blocks. So no shit. Alright, let's just make sure we fill in the map up here. There might be something worthwhile up here. There won't be, but there might be. I've got a high potion to replenish the one I used against the Pike Master, uh, because I was a an absolute buffoon. But yeah, ultimately, nothing terribly required. Uh, Ooh, so what do we got up here on this side? Ju just a flea man hiding where the, the heart max up was, huh? <laughs> Sitting there waiting to prank you, I bet. We got a, a helmet. Um, I don't didn't get to see what helmet because... A helmet often used by the Vikings. Not terribly interested because it doesn't affect my aesthetics <laughs> like the Twilight cloak I really like this shadow after image big fan <laughs> really nothing down here just flea men all right cool um Hey, oh, I'll just take this heart max up and be on my jolly way. And we are done in that area, so... Okay. Only really one more place to... Two more places to explore. Because we have that green area all to the right as well as that one-off room that I wasn't able to figure out, so I'll have to go back and check that there now. Um, and then up above us, because there was that, that ceiling I can now break through, so there might be something, there might be something cool there. I don't know why I'm not just doing this, it's faster. And we'll take the save point here, sure. So yeah, I guess we must... I'm just gonna preemptively equip my crush boots. Because I know I'm gonna need them. <laughs> Don't block my attack, Skeleton Blaze. It's up this way, right? Yeah, just completely up this corridor. You curse me! Can I... I can still do that while cursed, so... Not a biggest pain of the ass as it could be. That was... Uh, not a sentence, but I'm going to pretend it was. <laughs> a big as pain as the ass. Something like that is what I said. I'm not terribly sure. Stream of consciousness, you know. You know how it is. We're still missing one magic book, right? Wonder what it's what that one will be. Because we have fire, wind. Electricity and ice, so if we're going classical elements, my guess would be ground. <laughs> I wonder what it. Not quite what I wanted to do. Please bring me back. Thank you. Up we go! Alright, what do you got for me up here, Draculad? So, on this side, we have two medicine jars, heart max up, and a, a wine glass. Okay, I'm going to assume that's one of my, my room things. And Kaiser mail. That sounds impressive. Kaiser's... 
generally something that is attributed to strong. Armor said to have been worn by emperors, and it increases all my stats by a little bit. Um, yeah, I, I think that's worth the spell cost. It wasn't that much different. So yeah, I think that's fine. Alright, now let's see what's in that room in Castle A. Something great, I bet. We got a big mana prism. We got a turkey. I don't know what that is. A passage somewhere has opened. Okay, so this was required. We got a lickster, a candle script, candle script, a candlestick, and a life max up. A passage. Oh! I can go to the center now, hmm? I'm going to save that... ...for last, because that feels like endgame, you feel me? I, which castle am I in? Am I in castle A or B? I think I'm in castle A. Yeah. Okay, so let's... Let's go back down to the ball race room, I think, and see what I missed. This puts me, yeah, not where I want to be. Um... Let's switch to Castle B for just a second to fill in that, that one square. And then I guess we can go through this way to make our way to the ball, to the ballroom. I think that I need to stop doing that. <laughs> Are we there yet? <laughs> it's because my main method of traversal is dashing, but pressing down is what warps you. <laughs> Hey, safe point, what's going on? I am just not concerned with enemies at the moment. It's here, right? Yeah. Uh, no, we don't ascend. We go in directly into this room, smash our feet on the ceiling, and now the map is filled in. Okay. Now let's come back here in the other castle side, shall we? Because now that's filled in. Castle B is basically done except for the center and then the two rooms that require... I think it's two rooms. I'm scanning all over to see if there's any other doors that I haven't unlocked. Yeah, I think it's just the two rooms that require the rainbow key. There was something up in the top right area as well, I think, that was like part of stairs that I think I, I missed. I don't think it was something important, though it might be furniture. I think I just need one furniture left, right? Yeah, just the one. It might be furniture that I'm missing up there. I'll, I'll check that after I've checked everywhere else. Nani? One thing I'm wondering is because I don't think I've seen any gold doors, but I have seen... But, like, because I've explored most of this map, but I don't think I've seen any gold doors. Could the gold doors be referring to the rainbow doors? Is that where I need to go? Or is that, like, that what that unlocks? Much to think about and much to check. But we'll, we'll figure that out later. Because if there's a gold door along this path, then that answers my question. Get the hell out of here, Axe. Boomerang armor. 
and it only does one damage, so whatever. There's not even anything over here. It's just there to jump scare you. Uh, I didn't go all the way. Oh, was this the room with the the walkthrough wall? Yeah. And we get the nail of Vlad, which does... We're still missing three relics, which is concerning to me. Increases strength. I'm cool with that. Yeah, the fact that I've explored so much and I'm still missing three relics is concerning to me, but I'm assuming that uh, the other relics are probably behind the rainbow doors, right? Because it's, like, it's been so far in the game and I still can't explore through the rainbow doors, they've got to be in there. To some extent, I would think. Uh, that is a glove. Hard gloves. Sure. What do the hard gloves do for me? Probably not much. Yeah. I, I think I had a bunch of those. Yo, slimes! And I'm cursed now. It's fine. Do I want to go right or left? I guess I'm going either way first, and left will be where I'm exiting. Or right will be where I'm exiting, so let's go to the left first, then. That feels more efficient. <laughs> Just all of you guys over here, huh? Poor Merman. And Fishman. I'm just obliterating the... I was about to see the, say the ecosystem, but this is a sewer. This isn't really an ecosystem. This is a, a terrible place of Fishman experimentation, I guess, is what I'm going with with that bit. I, uh, I seem to remember why I didn't explore this place. Is one of the relics a torch? Or do I just, like, do this? <laughs> I almost want to just do this and see. We got Chaos Ring for that. What, what did Chaos Ring do? Is there an item I have that lights, increases the strength of holy water? Is there an item I have that, like, lets me see in the dark, offers an excellent source of support? I'm gonna put the twilight cloak back on. Like, is there a torch or something that I've had that I just haven't been using? I'm missing a hint card. I'm fine landing on the spikes. I just want to explore this now. Explore in quotation marks because... God damn. Oh, I'm gonna have to, like... <laughs> well, there's the hint card I was I was thinking about. Does this tell me where the torch is? The eyes of the goddess statue point to a secret passage. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> okay, that's just back down. The spikes on the ceiling is just rude, my guy. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I'm just like trying to, to fine tooth comb that to like just see if there's any item in there. It doesn't look like there is. So let's go back and go the other way. And hey, if I run into something on the way back, awesome. Something other than spikes, preferably. Um, but they only do 10 damage, so like, I'm not concerned. It's just a <laughs> royal pain in the ass. We got a Chaos Ring and a Hint card that that's long overdue that I've probably already just like figured out and gotten what it's pointed what it has pointed me to because of how much of the map I have explored. Sure, the eyes of the goddess point to a secret. Cool. I've walked through a wall before. Is that perhaps what it's referring to? Is there another wall I gotta walk through? Is that how I get to the room in the bottom right? Is, is that the eyes of the, the goddess? It could be. Oh, I need to go to the right for a second on the bottom floor anyhow. Yep. Because this is a dead end, which means there's probably a bunch of fishmen in here. Yep. Okay. We got the blue stone so we can imbue our our thing with ice, right? Yeah. Not terribly concerned. I haven't been too torn up about elemental weaknesses when raw damage just does. I'm sure it's helpful if you know them, for sure. Like I don't I don't doubt that for a second. But because you have to keep- oh, hey, a, uh, a boss. But because you have to keep switching out stuff, I think- just- uh, wrong menu. I think just having the raw damage is more reliable, you know? What do we got in here? Sonic the Hedgehog. Just a giant merman. And he does one damage, so yeah, this is something I was meant to face. Uh, much earlier, so I'm just gonna... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Unholy water achievement. Yeah. Why not, right? No, 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 no. <laughs> See, I like that the game lets you do this, though. That it lets you go to areas relatively out of order, and I think in this case, I could have just skipped this area if I wanted to go right to the ending, I think. I like that the game lets you do that. Because it's, it's funny, because it means I have to, if I do things out of order, I have to, to fight enemies that I'm maybe not quite prepared for, and when I come back... <laughs> the hell is this? When I come back to an area like this, that's clearly much too weak for my skill, or my, my stats at this point, I just obliterate it. I think that's fun. Makes me feel less rigidly railroaded. You know? And alright, we filled in this area, so now, now we just got, I think we're just like, yeah, 3%, uh, 0.3% off on this side, so we just gotta go down to that. It's kind of a gauntlet to get there, huh? Down to the bottom right and see. Oh, that's how you unlock this. So I couldn't have gotten here much earlier because I didn't get this until relatively recently. So that area is just weaker for no reason, right? <laughs> Interesting. Interesting choice. So 
So I think that was just purely for the life and heart max up then. Uh, is this correct? Yes, this is correct. Hey, buddy. I know I can't take you out in one hit, but you can't take me out in, um... Near 500 hits, so... I think me... I think the two damage is fine. Hi, Harpy. I don't ha I should equip my... <laughs> my wind book again so it can just deal with all of this while I while I while I ball all right. down from here and to the right Gold necklace. Cool beans. Okay, what am I missing here? I'm not terribly concerned about the ball. Is there another, like, secret wall that I just missed because it was so high up or something? Like, if I go up here, will I be able to... No? Can I walk through? I can slide through here. I see. I guess that makes a degree of sense, but only if you know that... Hey, it's the Tooth of Vlad. Or Fang of Vlad. Vlad? Fang of Bladder. Uh, I guess that makes sense, but only if you know you can walk through walls before that increases defense. So I have two things left. I can't wait for one of them to be the torch and then the, the other to be, like, another piece of Vlad. I think that'd be just swell. Can I return from this direction, or do I have to run the whole circuit again? Please let me back. No! <laughs> Fair enough. I'm not happy about it, but I understand. Okay. Both are 97.6. So I think, yeah, I think the, the gold aura must just be the rainbow aura. So that'll be... something I check out. Alright, yeah, let's, uh, let's rush ourselves to a save point, and we'll end things off. Alright, this is the, this is the spike room. Hey guys, don't mind me. You're gonna knock me into the spikes, or I'm just gonna fall into them myself because I'm uh, fantastic at video games. Better than God herself. <laughs> I like that these guys sometimes still damage me when I'm dashing through them, but sometimes don't. I'm assuming it's the fire. It's just funny that sometimes they stop me in my tracks, sometimes they do not. Okay, let me back! Alright, save point. So, on that note, we will end things off here. Thank you so very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. And the next one, I suspect the next one will be the last episode. And on that, we will explore those rainbow doors, assuming that's what the gold key is for. And then finally end off in the center. So until then, thank you so very much for watching.
I hope you enjoyed. I hope I didn't say that already, but I may have because, you know, stream of consciousness. But if you did, consider subscribing and all that. And until next time, have a fantastic day, all right? See you then.